next lesson. Hello guys, in our last lesson we saw how we could load the Pygame module and also put the uh, pygame.mixer.music and we also uh, created a function, a value writer, a variable, a placeholder called loadf. So in this lesson we're going to see how we can actually load that file. So let's go ahead and save our project as, let's just call this our underscore load file just like that so it's gonna have a load file extension in the end so what we're going to do is to actually create a function that is going to actually uh, load our file so right here we're just going to say uh, loading loading our audio file so what I'm going to do is call a function called def and we're just going to call it load audio file because our function obviously is going to be loading our audio uh, files. So next I'm going to create our uh, global variable load f so we can have access to it within the play function which is this one right here. So let's just go and say uh, global load f and now let's set our load f to be equal to the tk and let's call our file dialog dot ask open file name so first we're going to set the uh, initial uh, directory to that uh, file so let's just say uh, initial directory dir we're going to set that to and this is going to get a path and then we'll set that to the title. So let's set the title. And we're going to set the title of that file to uh, select mp3 file. And comma. So we're going to pass in the file types. And these are all arguments that we need to uh, pass. And let's set that to. Uh, mp3 files comma and let's make sure we close that code and we're going to select all mp3 files so all dot mp3 which is going to be the file extension is going to be selecting now let's close our bracket comma And then let's just pass in all files. Comma and with the dot extension. So this might be uh, tedious and looks uh, confusing, but you can all find this information in the or ask open file name. These are external options. And basically we're just going to tell it to set a title to uh, tell us to select the mp3 file. And then once it gives us that title, we're going to select all files that end with the .mp3 extension. And finally, just go ahead and just create an if statement. So let's just say if load f, and here we're going to set a file path and a file name. And let's split that using the os.path.split. So this will actually split the uh, file name that we got from load f. And we're going to be inserting that to our list box. So let's say lst underscore bx dot insert. So we're going to be inserting the name of that element. And to do that in tk, we use the end plus the file underscore name. And just to get our output, let's just go ahead and print out the uh, file name. So I'm just going to say uh, mp3 file name. And let's in pass in the variable for the file underscore name. Just like that. And let's make sure we close this with our code or else we're going to have issues. And also let's print out the location where it's loading that file from. So I'm just going to say location. Or let's just say file location. 
and I'm going to print out the variable for the file path. So, all right, so let's just go ahead and save that. So what we're also going to do, like since we have this command we've created right now and we've called this command uh, load file f, let's go ahead and create another button that we're going to be using such that when we click that button it's going to ask us to open the load file uh, dialog. So let's just go ahead and create an extra button right here, just right at the top. And let's just call that button, uh, button load file dialog. So let's say button underscore load underscore audio. So that's going to be a TKK dot button with text. We're going to call it a uh, load, load song. And then we're going to pass in that command to load that button, which is going to be what we created. We called it load audio file. So let's go ahead and say load audio file. And now that we've created this uh, button, in order to actually see it, we actually have to pack that uh, button. So I'll just go ahead and copy the name of this file right here when we're packing. So we're just going to say dot pack. And we're just going to fill to tk.x. So we don't need to bind this button because we're actually not using an uh, event for it. It's just going to be a normal uh, function call. So that's what we're going to be doing to actually call uh, this button. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and test it. So let's go ahead and save our project and let's run. So if we click on load song, it's actually open up a uh, location. So let's uh, let me go to my royalty free music and let me just click this track and click open. So we have uh, it says load loaf F is not defined. Sorry about that guide. It's supposed to be load, not loaf. So let's go ahead and see where that error is coming from by checking the line number. So it's just where we set our file path. So split, we have loof F. So let's go ahead and just see that. So it's load. So it's load F actually. So let's just go ahead and save that and load again. So let's load a song. So I'll just go to my uh, royalty free music tracks. And it says file name is not defined for our LST underscore BX dot insert. So in line 17. So let's just go ahead and debug that and go to line 17, 14, 16. So this is uh, line 17. And sometimes the error could actually come from, you know, uh, a lighter uh, path. So let's see, we have LSTBX. Let's see what we called our list box. Okay, it's LST underscore BX. So we have LST underscore BX. And we're actually calling our list box from here. And we have file path and we have file name. So this is where the error is coming from. Guys, sorry about that. It's file underscore name, not file name. So I'll change this to file underscore name. So I've seen the error on line 16, right? So it's file underscore name. So let's go ahead and debug and just run it again. And let's load a song. And hopefully uh, this time we don't have any errors. So good. So we have our uh, track loading, but it says file path is not defined. We actually have our track loading right now. So let's just go ahead and quickly see what the error is with our file path. And it shows us in file 19. So it says file underscore path is not defined. So let's just go ahead and see that. So we have file path. So it's actually called, uh, I called it file path, but here I'm saying uh, file uh, path. So it's supposed to be file underscore path. So let me set that to file underscore path and run. So basically these are all name errors and they're actually easy to detect. So let me just go ahead and load this guy and load any track. And now we are not having any issues. We're actually having the uh, track loading and it's showing us the path. And it's also showing us the uh, track that we've selected right now. And we can see that track being inserted on this list box. 
So once again, thank you very much for watching. In our last lesson, we're simply going to test our program and see if we have any uh, errors and move on from there. So thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next.